Hey guys, what's going on? DuffKing56 here, back to continue another episode of Golf Story. Welcome, welcome back. Last time, yesterday's episode, we came to Cheeky Beak Peak. Cheeky Beak Peak. Say that three times fast. We went, we discovered that the birds are in a fracas, they're in a fur, they want to steal balls. Everyone's really pissed off, so we spent some time doing challenges. Found out that we met the same person over here that did our golf video. So... We want to talk to her because we spent some time helping everybody with the birds. So let's see what she has to say. Things are relatively calm now. I wonder what's gotten them so fired up. They never go so far out of the way to steal balls like this. And uh, perhaps now would be a good time to stock up on balls. I've got various colors and they're very strong. Uh-oh. We may need to buy more balls at this rate. How much are these? They're very cheap, young madam. Hmm. Well, they seem quite strong and... Wait a minute. Where did you get these? I found them. You didn't find them on the course, did you? Yes. Dot, dot, dot. These aren't golf balls. They're cheeky beak eggs. Oh, this explains the bad behavior of the cheeky beaks. I need to ask you for your help again. Please hit these back to the cheeky beak birds. But won't they break? They're very strong. Your club won't do anything to them. So, I take it you'll be buying all the golf eggs then? Get out of here, you! Okay, we've got all the eggs. Head over to the marked areas and hit the eggs to the right birds. The eggs are always the same color as the parents. Okay, so that should be easy enough. Some of these shots are going to be a little bit more difficult. There's going to be a lot of distance to these. So, let's tee it up and start hitting stuff at the birds. So, we got two iron here. The wind's a bit at our face. I'm a bit nervous here, actually, just because of the makeup of the shot, but maybe the trajectory is low enough. Yeah, we got it to the cheeky beak. That is perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go to the next one. I think there's going to be maybe one or two down here. This is going to purple. Winds at our face. We can do this a little bit here, and we're not going to be as worried about where we land. Right next to him, made it a lot easier. Actually, I even nicked his beak, and I, I kind of feel bad about that. I'm sorry, Mr. Cheeky Beak Bird. But that's okay. We're at two out of five right now. We are cruising. Let's go see what's going on over here. No circles, so that means no eggs. There's definitely got to be one up here, right? Like, yeah, okay. Obviously, obviously. Let's see, winds at our backs. We can just put this ball up nice and high, and it shouldn't be too bad of a shot. Look at that, we got right next to the cheeky beak again. We're starting off strong this episode, unlike last one where we failed that shot shaping challenge like three different times, so my my apologies for that first off, uh, first and foremost, but sometimes that's just how it goes. So, let's see, we want this cheeky beak to be happy, so we will do this one next. A little bit nervous on this one, but we did hit a power shot, so we should be fine. That was not bad at all. And then the last bit of business will be to find the last circle. I know there's cheeky beaks on the left-hand side, because we did those challenges, but there's probably a circle over here. Uh, really, there isn't. Okay, so we can check the other side. It's really no extra time at all, per se. So let's actually check it and see if we can find a circle. There should be one, right? No? Okay, so we missed a basic one somewhere. That's okay. I do want to say that these cheeky beaks are going to be dealt with one way or another, but this is the humane way. This is the way forward that's the best way. It's, it's the nicest way, but I'm committed to preservations of cute things, including cheeky beaks. Cause damn, I love birds. Oh, and it looks like we can talk to the other guy too. Where, what circle are we missing here? I'm just gonna do another brief sweep here. I'm not seeing anything. Did we just miss an obvious one up top here? Oh, there's an orange one, okay. Thanks. Don't know how I missed that one, but that's fine. All right, let's finish this one off. And maybe get a lesson, question mark? We'll see. 
Very awesome. Five out of five eggs returned. And we'll go talk to the pro shop lady. I hit all the eggs back. Hopefully that takes care of these birds for now. It's time for your lesson, but nobody has returned to watch the shop yet. I'll take good care of it. Please. I'm only asking for a chance. Dot, dot, dot. Just give him the chance so we can get a lesson. Beautiful. How much for a sandwich, an oat bar, and a small juice? 745. What's the course record? Four under. Well, we're gonna beat that. Set by yourself. I've shown up ten minutes late for a tea time. I'll play it down, but take a mental note to tell the marshal. I think you're ready. Come on and get me if anything goes wrong. Sorry about that. I had to pause and take a drink, and there are people talking, so I don't want to, you know, get involved with the audio right now, because audio has been like the bane of my existence in this Let's Play. I had to just do a quick cut. So, let's talk to the pro shop lady. Ready for your lesson? I love your enthusiasm. You're going to read the wind. Pay attention to leaves and the wind in the air. And watch the trees and bushes sway in the wind. I'll give you a point if you land on the green. And a bonus point if you land in the area marker. Okay, so this is... Let's see. We see the slope. It looks like a pretty heavy wind left to right. So I'm going to just... Uh, actually, I want to lay this one a little shorter. Because we want the bounce and roll. And we can see... If we were correct. Sit. Oh, we actually almost made that. We'll take the two points. This one is a slight right to left. Or, yeah, right to left. I, I know my directions, I promise. Um, that one's not bad. We'll get a little bit of English from the ball here. And a little bit of English from the wind, but we stuck the green, so we got the points there. And this is a much heavier wind, so we will take that into account and hit another perfect shot. I'm just guessing. I'm just prophesizing. I know the future. We're in the marked area. Perfect. We are reading the wind with our mind. See, this is a left to right. Okay. We can be a little shorter on this and it'll roll. We want that little bump and that should be good as well. Beautiful. Seven out of five. I would love to make a shot here. It'd be a nice little feather in the cap, of course. We'll do it this way. Let the wind take over, but it really didn't do much. We'll take the point. Only two more shots left. This one's a more of a severe wind left to right, so we'll make up the distance by hitting across our body here. We'll let the wind take it over. We'll take that two points. Not bad at all. And then this one is another good one, actually. I'll just do a little bit shorter and this way. We want the wind to take the ball, even if we're further right of the hole, like that when it bounces. The wind will affect the ball a little bit more on the first bounce. So that was an easy success. 950 and some decent experience. We didn't level up, but it is what it is. So, what did you think about my swing? Well, it was okay. Your club face delivery seemed to vary up to 10 degrees in either direction. You twist your wrist at the end of your swing. Huh. This gives you a very small window of opportunity for good contact. Yet, you managed to control the ball quite well. Is that good? It's very peculiar. Sure, your swing may not be technically sound, but that can work for some people. Okay, can it work for me? Oh, dot, dot, dot. Everybody has to find the swing that works for them. I've never seen somebody play so well with so many swing faults. Why does everyone think my swings suck? You're either very lucky or incredibly coordinated. Thanks, I guess. I see, dot, dot, dot. So Coach wasn't completely wrong with some of the things that he said. I have a lesson with a new student. I'll see you later. Who's the new student? What's going on here? I still need to play the course. I'd better find my caddy. Hmm. Something's fishy about this new student here. Anyways, I ripped on that thing for hours, but nothing. You did name mistake yet coconut oil for your two-stroke, did you? I may have. There he is. I've upgraded our plan. We're going to need some dynamo material. What? What are we going to do with it? There is nay any time for explanations. I'm waiting on a shipment of dynamo material, but the materials, they didn't they arrive. Heard they were diverted to a wee park nearby. Go have a look, will you? It's very important. A nearby park. Okay, I'll go check it out. Thank you. Well, 
You're welcome, actually. Um, and we saw the park actually on our way up to this course. I'm very interested in playing Cheeky Beak Peak, but I guess it's just going to have to wait until we go to this Frisbee Park. Like I said, the Frisbee guys are back and they are not going to be happy. We'd never protected their stuff from last time, but hey, if we have more Frisbee golf to do, it looks like fun to me. I'm not going to mind it one bit. So let's go talk to the Frisbee boys. At least I think they're all boys. I can't tell. Oh no, not these guys again. You. Hi guys. Looks like you got some shiny new Frisbees there. Looks like you got some new discs. We have indeed. We chanced upon a shipment of rare material. I jumped at the chance and paid for all of it. These discs may not fly true, but they're impossibly dynamic. You've got a lot. Mind if I have one? The first thing I did was grade them, and they came up as expert level discs. If you want one, you'll have to show some mastery with the disc. Show me something I'll vouch for you. Show each of us something, and we'll give you one. Damn, alright, so we've got three challenges here to do. Got something to show me? Hell yeah, I do, brother. A strong throw is required to get a lot of length. This will challenge your distance more than your shaping skills. Okay. Pass through all the gates. Should be... Difficult, because I threw the frisbee too hard. This should be probably not good enough, but we're almost, ugh, we almost passed through all the gates. That's okay. So we need about a halfway, like, pop power. The extremes of the shaping actually matter, so we have to be pretty careful about that kind of thing. But we passed through all the gates, so we're successful. Good drive. Thanks, buddy. We're gonna get- oh, we're gonna definitely level up from these challenges, which is awesome. Got something to show me? Yes, I do. What do you want me to do? Timing your descent is an important part of disc golf. This challenge should prepare you accordingly. Okay, so we have to have a good, like, accuracy shot. Oh, that was, like, not easy, but... That was pretty darn good, if you ask me. This one's gonna fall a little short, I think. <gasps> oh, we gonna get it? Yo, we maxed out the points. This one doesn't tell us how many we have to have, though. Or, how many tries we have, so... It's probably five, if I had to guess. Oh, this should be a little further, I'd imagine. And you can take, like, a more circuitous route here. It's... A point? Nope, it's not. That's okay. It's probably going to be short. Wow, I am like on my game with the discs today, which is awesome. Success! Good weight. Thanks, sir. Nine bucks and fifty cents in a level? I will take that. That is progress if I ever saw it. So let's... Look at that. We're perfectly evened out again. And let's go talk to the head honcho here. Think you can impress me? Dude, I can impress anybody. Shaping the disc is key in scoring well. Let's see how strong a shape you can get around these trees. Oh god, this this actually this took me a bit when I first did this challenge. Okay, that was a weird looking frisbee hit. Alright, let's uh Yeah, as you can see, not the easiest. Because the speed once you hit one of these, it's over for one, but for two. What makes it difficult is that it's kind of Sensitive, like I said on the extremes, it's very sensitive, but it looks like we did it, so that was good. Okay, that was hard. You shaped the disc well. Well, thanks, man. Give me my dynamo disc. I'd love to bring that to that blacksmith looking guy. You're improving. I think you're ready to face me in a match. Okay, I'll probably just use my old discs though. Should we do it? Let's do it. Let's 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 face him in a match. Ready to throw lengthwise? Sure, dude, why not? Let's beat this dude's score, Harlan, if that is your real name. Not bad. Okay. Shouldn't be too difficult. Nice shot. This is a fairly straightforward one. We fucked up, though, which is okay. It's really not that bad if we're... I would it Okay, whatever. That 
that was weird, I guess. So we just have to hit seven of these? I don't understand the whole beating his score thing if we're gonna skip a hole after that. But whatever. That's alright. We got four out of seven, whatever that means. Once again, the numbers are all arbitrary. I think there's probably just maybe nine total holes or something. And you just gotta get seven hole in ones, maybe, potentially. We've got five out of seven. This one's a little further, so we'll give this one a bit more juice. We'll shape it. Uh, we're not going to have enough. We're actually pretty close on this one. Give it a bit more juice, a bit more juice. Is it this way? I can't even remember. Yeah, it is. Wow. God damn it. Two more. That one looks a little long, which is better for us. We'll give this one a bit more juice. Ah, this is... Uh, I see where the shaping comes in here. We're gonna have enough? Yes! Okay, come on. Give me one more, one more. Okay. We can just throw this one straight out and, like, guide it back in this way and just be ready, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Not bad. I'll take that success. Incredible! You throw the disc like I did when I first started. You don't throw quite as true as I did, but you're better than Hawk was. I was a sight to behold when I first took up the disc. You're better than Rodney. The second shot I ever took went in the basket. I'm a prodigy. Okay, so I think I'm somewhere in between Rodney and Hawk skill-wise. Cool, man. Yo, big XP. We take those. I thought it would level me up, but I guess not. Is there anything else to do on the course here besides run around and, and appreciate how nice it is? Because it is nice. Don't think so, and that's okay. Yeah, I don't think there's uh, much to do here. But it's not going to stop us from checking. Hey, you never know, there could be like a, a geocacher coin or something, right? Like, this bush looks a little suspicious. And then there's just this random guy over here. Why'd I bring my board? You seem a little out of your element. Yes, but I had a good reason for coming here. I'm a cacher. It was a long trip, but the clue seemed easy. From the table, a skip, hop, and a jump. Keep an eye out for a tree with no stump. No shit! We we totally intuited that there would be a cache here. And we knew exactly where it would be. That's, uh, that's thinking with portals. Beautiful. Give me that cacher's coin. 33 bucks. We're actually... We might be able to afford that putter very soon, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we did the cache, which is cool. I don't see anything else here to do, so let's go back and head back to Cheeky Beak Peak and see what this guy's going to want to do with the dynamo disc. Come on, come on. Here we go. Let's so let's go. Ready for a round? Nope, we're going to help him. I managed to get some of the dynamo material and form a disc. Disc? Nay, that's a frisbee, but it won't be enough. Wait there a moment. Sure thing, bud. Made you a little present. Thank you. Oh, Dynamo Woods. Thanks. Come on, you ready to play the course yet? Dude, I would love to play the course, but first, our first new driver. 10 yards and high loft, which honestly, I'll take the extra distance because that is pretty awesome. And I think next time would be a good time to actually go and play the course because this time we got like plenty done, but I feel like the cor playing the course is kind of like a, a big thing so i'd like to start the next episode with like a big bang which honestly this is going to lead to a bit of a shorter episode but that's fine it is what it is this has been another episode of golf story i'm duffking 56 thanks so much for watching see you guys later peace out